Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you, my dear students? I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Advanced English Grammar. In the previous class, we talked about the word be. We also learned over there that the word be is used in two different ways. Sometimes it is used as the main verb of the sentence and sometimes it is used as the helping verb of the sentence. I would like to give you two examples. He will be at home. He will be playing cricket. Now you can see here two different sentences are here. He will be at home. In the first sentence, he will be at home. Here it plays the role of the main word. No, on the other hand, he will be playing cricket. Here it is the helping verb of the sentence. The reason here is that the main verb is already available over there. He will be playing cricket. It has also a lot of uses. In this video, we would like to talk about those usages also. Let's talk about them. We use the word be for the imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are those which are used for order for request, we use there the imperative sentences. Ha. For example, if I say be kind, be kind, it means to become kind. It has a hidden, a hidden meaning available over there inside the sentence. Be kind, be still, be cautious. Be kind, be human, be honest. We use the word be for the imperative sentences. And whenever we use to before that, it means to become. Now you can see here, it is my, he is my to be friend. He is my friend to be. Now you can see there are two different ways about these sentences. You can also say he is my to be friend. It means he is going to become my friend. And on the other hand, he is my friend to be. Two possibilities are there about these sentences. You can say it differently. He is my friend to be. He is to be my friend. And to be a teacher met us yesterday. When he became a teacher, he met with us. He met us yesterday. So I mean to say to to be, it means to become. We can also use the structure. Now we are going to talk about will be. Will be we use for the future. Sometimes it is used as the helping verb of the sentence, the main verb of the sentence, right? For example, they will be at home. 
they will be at home we are going to talk about just the existence here he will be at home here it is a main verb now we can use it with the fourth form of the verb the fourth form of the verb means verb plus ing for example he will be playing cricket in the future he will be playing cricket kamran will be sent to college in the pcy sentence we can also use the structure this the word uh, the word be right you will be beaten by the police we use there the word will be the word will be we use for the existence in this situation in this condition it is a main verb of the sentence right we use it with the fourth form of the word whenever we are talking about that action which will be done or which is going on in the future for the future continuous we use the structure he will be playing cricket we use the word be will be in the passive y sentences right kamran will be sent ali will be sent you will be sent i will be sent to college with all these sentences we use the word will be for the future in the word be we also use as i told you before we use for the imperative sentences imperative sentences are those which are used for request and order right so it was our uh class about this so do subscribe our youtube channel the name of our youtube channel is spread the useful knowledge share these videos to your friends relatives colleagues through whatsapp messenger and facebook that would be very kind of you thanks a lot of you thanks a lot